coming to the special test sir now we'll describe uh, two or three important type of long cases of spine which are given today although in dnb we don't have this category of long and short but ms does still exist so when you are having a clinical presentation of spine and you have to perform the special test it will come to us the disc prolapse which you have mentioned the important test for disc prolapse and one question before you start that why the pain of disc prolapse increases on cuff this is a question asked to almost every student who is writing an exam and presenting a case of disc prolapse so important test which you will like your candidate to tell you about and why sir pain increases on cuff generally we consider a disc prolapse occurring classically in young people the discs are hydrated in young people when we cough the pressure of fluid in that disc increases and that is why coughing sneezing shouting laughing loudly can increase the bulk of that prolapsed disc in a young man probably by a few millimeters which irritates the neighboring nerve roots and cause increase in the pain this is the explanation which many of us carry it may be correct may not be correct I'll what about the, the clinical test sir for this prolapse what are the important tests you recommend I think straight do? leg raising test passive straight leg raising test cross straight leg raising test is considered more reliable specific they say it's more specific yeah. than uh, the same leg yeah let's see it's uh, well i think the see is more or less gives you the same info as What's your the slr, SLR yeah yeah the bowstring test the figure of four test mainly for the s1 nerve root the sciatic area and then uh, i got this as a long case in my ms exam oh, stretch they will always ask you in fact the examiner will ask the patient did the doctor perform the femoral stretch or not this everybody forgets because the moment patient says i have pain on the back of the thigh going down my limb mm -hmm. people don't make the patient prone and do not extend the thigh point. supporting the pelvis please perform the femoral stretch so when you are examining the measurements of the spine measure the lower limbs measure the chest expansion when you are doing the special test for the sciatic nerve do not forget the femoral nerve this is important sir yeah femoral positivity of femoral stretch test i think it is important however it also suggests that the disc is at a higher level than at a lower level the sciatic stretch test would be possibility of a disc prolapse at a slightly lower level whereas femoral stretch would be positive more frequently in the upper level of disc prolapse just to tell you that uh, it is the lower nerve root usually which is uh, affected in a disc prolapse and uh, i'll just uh, try to put a small thing here if this is a vertebra and these are the pedicles and uh, this is a spinous process and this is a vertebra again the pedicles and the spinous process and this is like and if this is a disc if i look at i let's name this as l4 vertebra and this is l5 because l4 l5 is the commonest uh, disc prolapse described in literature if i look at the nerve root you know the l4 nerve root will go beneath the pedicle and exit and whereas the l5 nerve root will travel down and then exit so your intervertebral foramina which is bounded down the pedicle all around so this is your l4 nerve root and this is your l5 nerve root whenever a disc prolapse occurs which is usually posterior or central it will occur in this direction at the level and because it's the traveling nerve root which is there so the l5 will be compressed in l4 l5 disc prolapse when will the l4 be compressed when the disc is far lateral 
And this is uh, one thing that they can ask you why the lower nerve root is complex. So that's how it goes. And uh, in the cervical spine, the nerve roots go above the pedicle. But even then, if you understand the relationship, the lower nerve root is complex. Because even if it goes above, on the disc in that area, the lower nerve root will be traveling. So this is one thing that they ask. The femoral stretch, as Sir mentioned, is for higher nerve roots, so usually for L2, 3, 4. But when we talk about L4, 5 and L5, S1, it is the passive SLR or the LASIK test or cross SLR which is more significant. Mm. Right, sir? Yep. So we go to the next test which has been described in literature nowadays, the occiput wall test for ankylosing spondylitis. It's more of theory.